Hey what's going on guys and welcome to a quick video when I go over the loot or the special items pretty much that you can get from the Nightmare of Ashihama and uh, it is very interesting to look at this. I have all the big drops up here on my window uh, on Chrome and uh, I want to talk a bit about this because it is a melee set so it's not a ranged or mage set that you get from this and it is very special because this weapon is a crush weapon and that is huge because as it says it's it's the uh, same bonus as a concurrent grassy raper and blade of seldor but the problem is or the difference is this is a crush weapon and there are bosses like the um uh, Cerberus for example that is weak to crush and this is a one-hand weapon so you can actually use a spectral spirit shield with this and this is definitely better than a samurai on hasta because well it is based for crush you can see here 95 crush bonus meanwhile on slash it's minus 4 and on stab 52 plus and um, well if we go over to the other items here it's a it is a melee setup for 4 plus strength not that much prayer and then you have defense bonuses that are pretty good i would say because if you go to the hauberk here uh, you can see that the defense bonuses are pretty good but they give minus to everything except for crush so this set is pretty much a requirement to uh, this weapon like you pretty much want to use this setup only for crush gear and so this would be the best weapon for that pretty much and um, therefore this set with that weapon will pretty much be what you want to run all the time if you have the money for it. But now if we all also of course the skirt 2 plus strength, 4 plus strength on the hauberk and the helm gives 4 plus strength as well. So the full set is plus 10 strength bonus. Now if we go to the staff here. It is a 65 tier magic staff and requires 50 hit points as well and it can autocast offensive standard spells but also ancient magics. And so this staff when I looked at it at the first time I was like oh okay it's only 65 magic so it's not going to be that good. But then I saw that you can upgrade it. And uh, if we go all the way here to the Nightmare, you can see that this is the rare drops for the boss. And there is no rarity right now for these because the boss is so new. But you can see these orbs right here. If you put them on the weapon, the staff, it changes into either an Eldritch Nightmare staff, a Volatile or Harmonized Nightmare staff. So if we go here, it is now a tier 75, meaning it's pretty much the best staff in the game. And... Uh, it has a 16 magic bonus as well as plus 15 magic strength. That is really really good and it also gives some defense bonuses surprisingly. But what the big difference between these three staves are is that they have different special attacks that are actually extremely strong. If we look at this one for example the Eldridge Nightmare Staff. The Eldridge Nightmare Staff has a special attack Invocate that consumes 75 of the players special attack energy to hit the target for a high amount of damage and restores the caster's prayer point by 50% of the damage dealt. So this is pretty much like um, Saradom in God Sword, I think, right? That restores prayer. I'm not sure if it does that, but uh, that's what I've heard. Invocate uh, can boost the caster's prayer points above their prayer level, like the Ancient Maze, up to 120. So... I can imagine this being super good if you want to stay longer at different bosses that are not too hard to kill. I mean, it does say that uh, it hits pretty hard, so it could be a good magic special weapon. But I feel like if you're going to really hard bosses, you're going to bring, um, well, uh, a Dragon Warhammer or a BGS or something like that to spec with, not this weapon. So this seems like a weapon that you want to use for longer trips at easier bosses just to keep your prayer up where you have a magic switch so i would say this is probably very good at samurai uh, god wars because well he drains your prayer a lot when he uses his special attack as well as you use magic in between the phases because you want to get blood barraging on the minions and all that so you get magic gear along with it um you can see here the base damage for invocate is scaled based on the ma player's magic level ranging from 39 at level 75 50 to level 99 it can be increased with magic damage boost items of course at level 99 the possible highest possible hit is 62 or 70 while on a slayer assignment so yes this is definitely like a slayer or easier bossing item in my opinion so now we go to the volatile staff the volatile staff 
uh, has a special attack as well called Immolate that consumes only 55% now, so not 75% of the player's special attack energy to hit the target with 50% increased accuracy and dealing high amounts of damage. Here we go, this is the one that you want to use for higher tier bosses that are actually really hard to kill. Um, so you can see here the maximum possible hit is 82 or 93. 93 on a Slayer assignment, that is absolutely insane. Absolutely crazy. So this is definitely what you want to use if you want to kill really hard bosses. And the Eldritch one is uh, if you want to do longer trips or use during Slayer as a switch or something. So yeah, that's the difference between those. And then the Harmonized Nightmare Staff. Well, if we go down uh, here, it has no special attack. I don't know if that's because it hasn't been put here yet. So that will be interesting to see if that changes. But uh, something else is that this weapon has a attack speed of 2.4 seconds, so a speed of 4. If we go to this one, it has a speed of 3 seconds, so this is actually a slower weapon. And it's the same with this one, and those two have special attacks. These two have special attacks, the slower ones, and this one doesn't. So I'm going to assume that this is the weapon that you want to use just for damaging. Like, you just spam damage with this one. Uh, and these ones are more special because of their special attacks. So it's like it's like um, uh, using an Abyssal Whip as your normal weapon and then having a BGS for a special attack. That's what it feels like if I look at these weapons. So that's pretty interesting. I think it will be very nice to, uh, to try these out. I, I think they're going to be very expensive in the... Uh, in the first weeks and I do think they're actually going to stay very expensive as they are tier 75 magic weapons uh, But it's pretty interesting to see that a boss drops both magic weapons and then melee gear And this weapon is going to be along with the gear absolutely crazy for Cerberus I mean the kill time on Cerberus will be so fast if you have this gear So anyways, I thank you all for watching and I look forward to trying this boss Seen uh, people do it a bit on stream, it seems like you need quite a big group to do it, uh, but what do I know? I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.